So I find this show fascinating because I think all growing up we all had scary dreams. Uh, and I was wondering uh, in, if you remember one specifically, was there one that occurred frequently or one that kind of just stuck with you your rest of your life that freaked you out as a kid or even nowadays, that dream you might have that recurs that's freaky? I constantly have a dream that there's someone standing outside of my window. Mm. And I've been having that since I was a little girl, that I um, turn and look out a window and there's someone standing there. And whenever I write, mm. I always write that fear in because it is so palpable to me, to the point that I asked my mom, I was like, has this happened? Has this happened? And she was like, no, weirdo. I, no. <laughs> I developed a similar fear when uh, my dad was reading Me to Kill Mockingbird when I was little. And I was always scared that Boo Radley was looking through my window. <laughs> really? Yeah. From. Yeah. Did you, would you dream that aspect? No, I would just be scared going to sleep. <laughs> I don't really remember any bad dreams. I, I don't remember my dreams a lot. Yeah. For you, anything specific that stood out to you? Yeah, I think when I was very young, I, I saw, like, uh, on TV, on a matinee or something, I saw, like, Lon Chaney transforming into the Wolfman. Yeah. And Whoa. then I had this recurring uh, nightmare that was in black and white about uh, this... There was a car accident on my street, and a man knocks on my door, and I open the door, and he's asked to use the phone, and uh, then he turns into a werewolf, Whoa. or he turns into a wolf man. This is nice. insane. I used to have this one uh, randomly where I would like I would get up and walk down the stairs, and it would be like the character from like the Adams Family who had the bald head, I believe. Um, yeah, Lurch. Fester? And he would look at me. Oh, yeah, yeah. Fester. And Uncle Fester. Fester, right? Yeah, yeah and I couldn't Fester. speak. Like he, like he would, like I would open my mouth and he would almost like silence me, and it freaked me out. So I don't know why that one stuck with me forever, but it did. So. Aren't yeah. nightmares so revealing about people? And it's these yeah. images. It's yeah. these images mm -hmm. that are so yeah. And now I speak it's for a living, <laughs> which is really yeah. strange. Yeah. Um, so I reached out to your fans, and I want to get some fan question so this one's for you specifically first so I'm gonna go ahead and have you just hit play here this is from uh, some of your fans oh my god <laughs> so Victoria oh my god are you more inclined to believe in ghosts now that you've been one? <laughs> oh my Hi, god Victoria we're really looking forward to seeing the show those are my and, parents uh, Juniper wants to know if you're gonna <laughs> be able to come home for Thanksgiving oh. we want to see you so oh. will you be home for Thanksgiving are you more inclined to believe in ghosts? And what's funny is, before I walked in, I didn't know that you knew of me already, yeah. so I was hoping to like surprise you yeah, with that. Totally. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Um, My dad shot that interview. <laughs> 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 they live across yeah. the street from each other, yeah. which is crazy. That's Thanks, hilarious. Mr. McCarthy? Yeah. <laughs> yeah um, uh, I think I've always been open to uh, believing ghosts. My mom certainly um, has like taught me, told me about these experiences that she's had. Like, I know so many people that have had experiences with ghosts, and they find it immensely personal, and, and I take it very seriously. Um, and so believing that anything is possible, I definitely, I definitely continue to have that belief. And will you be home for Thanksgiving? Um, sure. <laughs> <laughs> She's coming home. I, uh, I walked in. Uh, so this is interesting, uh, kind of going back to your parents. My, when I first uh, learned about you as an actress, my mom yeah. had texted me and said, Kevin, this, this is actress Victoria, she's working on a Quentin Tarantino mm -hmm. film, like, oh my god, it's amazing, and now I'm sitting here talking to you. Yeah. Can you talk at all briefly about who you're playing in, in Tarantino's movie? Uh, yeah, I play Lulu, who is Leslie Van Houten. Yep. <laughs> she's a person, she's a real person. Yeah. She's, uh, uh, she's still, um, in, in jail. She, uh, was, uh, a part of the, uh, Tate LaBianca murder. She was a part of the LaBianca murders, yeah. and, uh, yeah, she's an incredibly interesting, uh, interesting, and uh, you know, uh, very strong person. It's very, I think, important for us when we're thinking about her to to watch her today um, mm. and to take the way she represents herself seriously. So, can you talk about like a, maybe a nightmare or a dream you had recurringly? I mean, I had one as a as a child. You know. I, for, for years, I remember having nightmares about being like kidnapped by a witch. Jesus, that really? was my thing. Yeah, was it yours? I was always afraid I was oh, going to get that kidnapped was yours. <laughs> <laughs> with the same person. No, not by a witch, but Siblings. just a yeah. Well, yeah. Wait, have you guys yeah. like talked about this already? Did you guys? No, 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 well, no, no. I had no so idea. What was your dream like? How visually, what happened in your dream? Well, it was in in my neighborhood. 
Huh. And um, it was very real. Was she like on a broomstick? No, no, <laughs> just no. Regular she just would take me to her place door. and wouldn't let me out anymore. <laughs> That's crazy. Wow. Did, it, did it continue throughout your adult life as well? No, it's been about 30 years. Since <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we're in a therapy session right now. I'm like, tell me how you feel. And for, what was your uh, nightmare like? It was similar? Uh, yeah, I mean, I, there was a window in my room that I always thought someone was going to climb in and, and, and kidnap me. I don't know why I thought I was such hot property, but... Um, I just, so I would have nightmares about Everyone that. Everyone wanted about Risa. <laughs> I never heard the term hot property. I feel like I've learned something new yeah, today. And you did you ever have, have one that recurred? I used to have this, this weird, I used to have this massive fear about being, that I would just suddenly be possessed. And oh. I don't know where it sort of came from, but um, I used to have a dream about that, that like I wasn't, someone had taken over my body and I wasn't <laughs> kind of in charge of it. Yeah. That's cool. Um, it's not that cool it's when you're like cool. seven years no, old. It's sad. That's sad. <laughs> yeah, one thing I love about filmmaking and shows in general is when uh, filmmakers decide they want to get as much as they can in camera, effects, visual effects, practical effects. Um, for you, like, obviously the sets in this thing look incredible. Can you talk about like visually what was the coolest effect or set you had to work with while filming in the show? Was there something that kind of geeked you out? Because I, I feel like if I walked on the set I'd be like nerding out about everything. I'm just curious what you, like was there something that caught your eye specifically? Well, all the all the the special effects makeup that uh, yeah. Rob was doing was yeah. spectacular. Yeah, right? yeah. Was I mean, there something in particular? I mean, I feel like the Hill House set is so impressive. Were things moving in? Th like, 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 what, like, what, like, what do you like? What did the set appear like on, as you filmed it versus how we see it? I mean, not too, not not yeah, not too not. It's it's very very similar, and because yeah. it, because the whole set. The, the Hill House actual set is built like a house. It's on two floors. Yeah. So it's not, you know, you just go up the stairs and then you have to, it's, it's an actual set. So when you're on it, it's, you are in, it's, oh, you're in a maze, really. Um, mm. So I think that that was really, really impressive and very, very effective for, because there's such a somber atmosphere in there um, that, you know, when you be on it all day long, there's, there's something that happens right at the end of the show where we all, we're, we're in a room, um, and that set was very, very impressive. Are things as scary I like how you put that. We are in a room. Yeah. <laughs> it was very vague. We got, we've been given, you just we've spoiled been given, everything. Know, we've been given this, like, I mean, like, Felicia, she knows. Yeah. We've been given this, like, talking point, and, and we're, we're basically, they're like, you can't that talk about this, not or on the, this, on or the this, list. or this. <laughs> Is it not? No. No, that's on our list of don't not talk about it. I want to ask, obviously, because there's a lot of elements happening. You mentioned the house being built. Are things as scary to shoot as they are for the audiences to watch? Like, do things genuinely freak you out when you're playing the scene? Like, is a lot? Is any of that really you reacting to a scare or an element that's kind of creepy? Yeah, all all of it is real. I mean, I I feel like that that's the only way to really do it in a way that's believable is to, mm. to, to allow oneself to get scared and so much of it is psychological for yeah. my character and, and it really is was, was pretty devastating dealing with being that afraid and, and cumulatively the, the, the power of that just gets more and more and more and more intense and so that, that was all pretty real. 